Okay, to begin any knitting project, you're gonna need two knitting needles and you're going to need a skein of yarn. Take the end part of the skein of yarn, leave it on the skein. You don't wanna take it off because you're just going to be using it as it comes up, um, so you leave it on the end. First thing you're going to do is create a slip knot. I'm going to hold the string in my hand like this. I'm gonna rotate my finger. Now I have a loop. I'm going to take my thumb and put it between the loop and I'm going to grab the long end of the string and make a slip knot. This is exactly the same way that you would start a crochet project. To see it again, you could also do twist it, make sure that the long end is on the top, grab from underneath and pull tight. Okay, then I'm gonna take this loop and I'm going to slip it onto one of my knitting needles. Okay, I'm gonna hold the knitting needle in my right hand. I'm going to hold the long end of the yarn in my left hand. And I'm going to do what's called casting on. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna rotate it in my finger and I'm going to slip the knitting needle through the loop and pull tight. Rotate it in my finger, slip the knitting needle through and pull tight. I'm gonna do this about 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I'm gonna shimmy them down the knitting needle a little bit. Make sure once again that I have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna take this knitting needle, I'm gonna rotate it so that the long end of the string is facing the right way, the, my right hand, and I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. I'm gonna pick up the other knitting needle, which rolled away. I'm gonna take the end of it, and I'm gonna notice that there is a loop around this knitting needle. I'm gonna take this needle, and I'm going to plunk it in that loop, and push it up behind the left needle. Now I'm gonna hold them both with my left hand and I'm going to take the extra string that is attached to my skein and I'm going to wrap it around my back needle in between the two, okay? Now I'm gonna take both needles in both hands, right and right hand, left and left hand. I'm going to slide this back knitting needle down a little bit and you'll notice if I push it through this loop, I've got that string that I just put between the two needles on my knitting needle. I'm going to pull it up, push it up through, and then I'm going to push this back needle out and slide the stitch off. So I'm gonna do the next one the exact same way. Up through the back, okay? Take the excess, wrap it around the back needle between the two. Now I'm gonna slide the back needle down to pick up that stitch I just created, and I'm gonna slide the whole thing off the needle. I'll do another few of them very slowly so you can see. Wrap it up, slide it off. Now you do this till you get all the way to the end and you have no more string on the left needle. Sometimes they get a little tight. Okay, now my left needle has been released. All of my stitches are on my right needle. 
At this point, I just kind of flatten them out, make sure they're all the same, and then I switch hands. I take the empty needle and put it in my right hand, and the needle that's got all the stitches on it in my left hand, and I start again. So I sink it behind, wrap it around, pull the stitch out, slide the whole thing off. Now the great thing about knitting is you're never going to miscount or end up with collaring like we did on the crochet projects. When you run out of stitches, you run out of stitches. That's all there is to it. But say I screwed up and I missed a stitch, dropped a stitch, something. You can frog this just like you would any crochet project. I'll show you what that looks like when I get to the end of this row. You don't have to wait until you get to the end of the row. You can do it any old time. Okay. Oh no, I screwed up. Let's frog it. Take the whole thing off. Hold this end. Hold this end. Pull. All gone.